Hi, yo, welcome back. I am Jason with Imagine Your Odyssey. And today I want to talk about keeping your rig clean. Keeping your rig clean doesn't mean that you have to have a ton of things, right? We've talked about, or you've seen videos that are talking about how not to carry a lot of things with you. Keep your stores down to minimal. So in this video, I wanted to talk about some of the things that we carry with us to keep our rig clean on the inside and on the outside, and some of the things that we think about while we're going down the road. One of the items that we got for our RV is a vacuum. Now we didn't go and buy one of those big ones that you get for your home. We got a little handheld one. We use this to vacuum up on the floor, any of the carpets or anything else around the RV that needs to be vacuumed. It comes in very handy on those days when you can't get outside of your RV. Rainy days and things like that where you may want to take your rugs out and shake them out or anything like that. Or even when it comes to sweeping up the floor. Sometimes I'll sweep the floor, get everything in a pile, take the vacuum and suck it up. Yeah, I could use the broom and the little sweeper that goes with it, but the vacuum does come in very handy, especially in the corners. The next item are rugs. Now in our RV, we do not have any carpets, none anywhere inside of our rig. So I have rugs that I lay down. The rugs will collect up dirt and stuff like that, but that's what I want it to do. I don't want it to be all scrubbing around the floor and underneath our feet. So the rugs will collect it so I can later take them out and shake them out like we talked about a minute ago. Or if I have to, I'll break out that vacuum. Another really good place to have a rug is at your entry door. Now the type of rug that we have is one of those ones that has a really high grassy type of look. The reason for that is when you come in, anything on your feet will get scrubbed off and caught inside of that little entry rug now that one we do take outside and we can shake out another good thing about that rug is that it is made of rubber and plastics so i could take it out shake it out and i can also wash it out another place that i have a rug is in front of my shower tub the reason i have a rug there is so that when i get done taking a shower if i have any leftover water on me then i can step on top of this rug and the rug itself will take up the water it is designed for that it's made for showers and bathrooms another essential piece to us having inside of our rig is a broom now i know it may be common sense to most people out there to have a broom but if you first buy your rig and you don't think about it make sure you buy a broom at least one of the ones that you can sweep up with your hand that's the little short brushed handled broom with the little itty bitty dustpan now for us we bought a broom that has the long handle on it like you would find it in any general store and a dustpan now the handle on that one has a button on there we could push a button on the handle and take the handle out of the broom and use the other end like a little hand sweeper going into the dustpan having a broom that is like that kind of serves a two different purposes and the reason for that is the reason that we bought this style of broom a couple of things I like to talk about for the interior are windows and walls. We'll start off with the windows, talking about cleaners. Now, if you go to the store and you're going to buy cleaners, you can buy Windex or window cleaner. You could buy a multi-surface cleaner. You could buy all these different types of cleaners. But if you look carefully, you can find cleaners out there that'll be all purpose. It'll do just about everything that you need it to do. So look for those type of cleaners. That way you only have one bottle. So you have the same spray that does your windows and you have the same spray that you'll use to wipe down your counters or the walls or the floors or anything else inside of your RV. Try to bring it down to one container that way you don't have to take up a whole lot of space and you don't have to worry about which type of cleaner you're going to be using either so that leads me into walls a lot of people may not know this and maybe you do but a walls inside of your rv are not meant to be wet the wallpaper is just a cheap wallpaper it's not meant for lots of water and all that stuff on it so i recommend to you to use that same multi-purpose spray but instead of spraying it on the wall spray it onto something that you're going to wipe the wall down with whether that be a towel or a paper towel or anything like that get that wet and then wipe your wall down the reason for that is if you get the wall too wet it will try to soak up whatever you put on it and if it does, it may leave a stain and you don't want to do that. So if you spray something down, just dampen it down lightly and then start wiping your walls down and you do that often enough, then the walls will stay clean and you don't have to worry about damaging them at all. All right, this next piece doesn't necessarily have to do with keeping the inside or the outside of your rig clean, but I wanted to throw in there nevertheless, because this is something that you need to make sure you're carrying with you. That is laundry. 
you're gonna have dirty clothes. And if you're anything like me and you wanna stay out for a week or more, maybe two weeks, three weeks, whatever your trip has in store for you, you're most likely gonna have to do laundry sometime along the way. Now, here's a word of the wise. Buy your own laundry detergent and dryer sheets. I say that because if you go out to the laundry facilities and you buy theirs, you're gonna pay a lot of money probably three times what you would pay for if you bought some of your stuff at the store all on your own. Another good tip here, a pro tip if you will, from my experiences, carry with you at least 20 to $40 worth of quarters. I don't know how many times I've been out and going to try to find quarters from somewhere to wash a laundry. I go to the laundry facility, bloop, 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 gotta pop in all those quarters and I don't have any and I gotta go out and find some and that has not been easy out there on the road. So if you can prepare for that ahead of time, do that way ahead. All right, to bring everything back to cleaning the RV, let's talk about the outside. We have to keep the outside of the RV clean. And how are you gonna do that? If you're at a campground, 95% of all campgrounds are not gonna let you wash the outside of your RV at their campground or at the campsite. So that poses the question, how are you gonna wash your rig if everywhere you go doesn't let you wash the camper at the site? So what we like to do is when we're traveling down the road to look for the RV or truck stops that may have a car wash inside of them. Look on the GPS, find some of those truck stops that have car washes or find truck stops and call them ahead and say, hey, do you have a truck wash or an RV wash facility that I can use? Just look ahead on your route and you'll most likely find some along the way of wherever you're going. Now, if you're only gonna be out for a few days and you've washed your rig at home and then you plan on washing it again when you get back home, that's fine. But if you're gonna be out for a long time and you like to keep the outside of your rig clean, then this may be an option for you because most likely, like I said before, the campsites are not gonna let you wash your rig there. And most likely when you get to the car wash, you might need to use those quarters that you got for your laundry to do that at that facility. Another thing that I like to do on the outside of my RV, outside of washing it and trying to keep it clean, is I like to keep the tires covered. I went on Amazon and I bought some cheap tire covers to put over top of them. Not only does it keep them from getting dirty, but it also keeps the sunlight off of them. The reason for that is that if the UV rays keep beating on the side of the tire, then over time, it most likely is gonna dry around out your tire and you're gonna have to be changing them out sooner than later. Now that doesn't negate the fact that you need to keep an eye on your tires. You need to look at the tread. You need to make sure that they're not cracking. You need to make sure they're not going flat. You need to make sure that the inside and the outside walls are good. That doesn't mean that you're not gonna have to change your tires at some point, but if you keep them clean and keep the UV rays off of them, then they may last a little bit longer before you have to change them out. Another thing to check on your RV on the outside are your seals. It's good to make sure you're keeping them clean and lubricated, and we made a video about some of the products that you can use to do that. Now, I don't know if the campsites really like you doing that or not, but every now and then I'll go out there with a little sprayer and I'll spray down the seals. Now, the reason that I like to do that is that if I'm gonna be moving the slide out in and moving the slide out out, I wanna make sure that the seals are nice and clean and they're not gonna ruin my rig any way whatsoever. So it only takes a few minutes to go in there with some water, spray them down, wipe them down, spray them down one more time just to make sure that they stay free of dirt and dust. Now, I'm pretty sure that if you do that quickly that the campsites are not gonna have a problem with that. Just keep in mind, if you're gonna do that with your rig at the campsite, be respectful of your neighbor. If you're gonna be at one of those campsites where y'all are really close, at least communicate with your neighbor what you're getting ready to do. So these are some of the things I do to keep my rig clean. There may be other methods that you do to keep yours clean, and I'd love to hear that down in the comments below. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, do that now. Click on the like button, bing, and we'll see you on the next video. So keep your rig clean, enjoy your stays, and God bless.